there, Laura Roeder here. I wanted to tell you how I've been using a social media cool tool called Timely. This is something that I actually initially kind of overlooked, uh, but I found a new way to use it that I don't think they really intended, and it's actually become one of my go-to Twitter tools. Okay, so if you look here in performance, this is the idea behind Timely that it automatically puts your tweets on different days of the week and different times a day, and then it shows you which is the most effective. So you can see this one got 32 clicks and one retweet. This one got no retweets, I guess no clicks, four retweets, 126, and then they use those numbers to show your reach. So I remember I saw this and I'm like, that's sort of interesting, but it's not really something that I would use over and over again, right? You might do it once as an experiment, but why are you really coming back to it over and over again? And then recently, I heard about it again, I decided to check out Timely again, and I found kind of a new use for it that I am loving. So a problem that happens with Twitter is that you have times when you're more active on Twitter or you're more active on the web, you're talking to people, you're reading links, you're browsing the web, you're finding a bunch of cool articles, or you're setting aside time to retweet a bunch of your own blog posts, but you don't wanna have a ton of tweets in one day and then be silent for the rest of the week. It's much more effective to have your tweets evenly spaced over every day or at least every weekday. So what's cool about Timely is that it automatically generates a certain number of posts per day. Tweets per day, I should say. I have mine set to three tweets a day. You can change that in the settings over here. And I have mine set so that it only tweets on weekdays. So what's really cool about this, so I have a little tweet loaded up here. So let's say I just came across this article from Chris Gillibo. I want to share it with everyone, so I'm going to tweet thought-provoking post from Chris Gillibo on unprofitable successful projects. So I type in my tweet, I paste in the URL, it automatically integrates with Bitly, which is really cool. So it becomes a Bitly link automatically when you paste it in, and Bitly tracks the clicks, tracks the social media, shares, and all that stuff, so you have all that data, which is nice, and then you just hit add to queue, or you have the option of posting now if you want to. But when you add to queue, you can see it automatically goes down here. For me, it's on Tuesday. So I have stuff loaded up today, tomorrow, which is Friday right now. And then you can see it skips the weekend. It goes to Monday, Tuesday, and it'll go from there. So I think this is great because before I used to do this, but I would schedule them out in Hootsuite manually. And it's just a little more of a pain, right? Because you have to remember when you already have tweets or you have to check in on their screen on that. And then you just have to manually choose, okay, this one's Tuesday in the morning, next one's Wednesday in the afternoon. This, you don't have to make any choices because it automatically, right, just divides them out over the days for you. So all you do is type in your tweet, you hit add to queue, and then they're ready to go. So I am loving Timely for that reason. It's been my main go to Twitter tool, not when I'm chatting with people live, I've been doing that on TweetDeck, but when I come across a cool blog post or I just have a thought that I wanna share, I go into Timely and I put it in there instead of spending all my time doing everything live on Twitter and doing 10 posts all at once. So again, I'm Laura Roeder, that's my review of a new way to use Timely.